Kenneth gave him many good reasons to give up, but he never did. Dan McCoy is reading from a letter he wrote to us about one of our school resource deputies and his stepson, Kenneth. I do really appreciate what he did for me. It's... <laughs> They're talking about our school resource deputy, Richard Dickens, who now works with staff and students at Winter Springs High. You don't just say hi to the ones that say hi to you. You talk to the ones that don't want to talk to you, too. And sometimes you can get them to come around. Dickens got to know Kenneth in middle school at a time when he and his stepdad were seriously at odds. I was kind of at, a, at my wit's end, not knowing where to turn. And that moment where you get called that the resource officer wants to talk to you about your, your child or your stepson, I was terrified. Before Deputy Dickens entered his life, Kenneth readily admits that he was angry and lashing out often. And if something didn't change, not only was he not likely to get his high school diploma, he was far more likely to end up in a place like this, behind barbed wire. He sat me down in his office and he talked to me about his childhood and how he had issues with his stepdad too. I remember sitting there distinctly talking with him and how bright he was and how mad he was. And just by talking with him, you got him to come down and then you work with him, not just that day, but every day that you get, and you build up some trust. When they met, Deputy Dickens' message to McCoy and his wife was one of hope for Kenneth, not at all what they were expecting. The way that he talked to us as parents and explained things the way they were, it came from the beginning. We knew we were working with an ally, it was not an enemy. Kenneth realized it too. He didn't really sugarcoat anything for me. He was like, this is where you are, this is where you're headed if you don't change things. Sheriff Dennis Lima, who served as a school resource deputy himself, sees the life experience that veteran deputies like Richard Dickens bring to their school jobs as invaluable. It's almost like he adopts all of these children. And I think that right now we're focused on the important issues of protecting our school campuses and having school resource deputies there to do that. But this story alone shows that what we are doing is a heck of a lot more than just providing safety and security. Deputy Dickens' dedication to his job and a desire to change the life of young people is extraordinary. Before the two parted ways and Kenneth started high school, Deputy Dickens made him a promise. Not only did he tell my parents that he'd be honored to be my graduation, he told me that. And that stuck with me because of the fact that he was like trying to help like a lot. Years later, as Kenneth's graduation day approached, he remembered the promise that Deputy Dickens had made and extended an invitation. He's got a bright future because he's got a good head on his shoulders. And, and, and to be able to have him remember that and ask me to go to his graduation, it was very, uh, very touching. On Kenneth's graduation day, a day many thought might never come, on his own wedding anniversary, Deputy Dickens was there, up in the rafters, to see Kenneth graduate. He's monstrous big. He's got all this hair on his head. He looks so different, you know, but the eyes, you can see that same kid that you sat there and talked to and, and worked with. And uh, I was so proud of that guy. I'm in a lot better of a place than I was. And I do owe a lot of that to Deputy Dickens. Many parents and children know that the middle and high school years can be trying. A deputy who's there to listen day in and day out can make a world of difference. You represent the sheriff's office, you're very professional, but you're a person too. It goes beyond words the way I feel for his involvement and everything that he's done for Kenneth.